Hello there. If you've been wanting to run or try out or start using math stations in your middle school math class, this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three easy steps to make running math stations super, super easy. If we don't already know each other, welcome. My name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. If you would like to join the Pre-Algebra Teachers Math Membership, click on the link right below this video so that you can teach with ease and have everything you need to teach sixth, seventh, and eighth grade math. Okay, let's jump in into these three easy steps to make running math stations super, super easy. If you've never run math stations before, it can be very overwhelming. However, math stations are extremely effective. When I first started, I knew nothing about it. I made a million, million mistakes. And I really, really believe that 30 students in small group with me running around was really a dumpster fire waiting to happen. But after lots of trial and error, Running math stations is a regular part of my classroom. <clears throat> I run math stations two to three times a week, and we have made some huge gains in learning, increased test scores, and just overall retention. So the first tip that I'm going to share with you in how to make stations easy and effective is that stations should only be used to reteach. You should never be teaching new material during your math stations time. So if you're going to teach new material, teach it as a whole class, full direct instructions so that all of your students hear everything. They're getting the same um, explanation from you. They're, they're all getting the same notes from you. Everyone's doing the same thing. And then when you break into your small group, that's when you can reteach, you can catch students up who didn't understand, or you can advance students who need advancement. Second, practice your station norms over and over again in a whole group. So what I mean by this is how do you want students to enter a station, leave a station? Are they supposed to push in their chairs? Um, you know, if they are in your, if they're in a whole group setting, do they push in their chairs? Or maybe you have those desks where the chairs and the tables are connected. So it's not a thing, you know, where do students put their materials when they're done? Is there a, a routine for them to use the restroom? The same would go for your class, right? They can't just get up and leave. What's that routine like? So practice the norms. What happens if they have a question? What are they supposed to do? And third, Go over your station's activity one at a time as a whole group. So one of the activities that I love using in my math stations is task cards, but I don't just give my students task cards during a station, and expect them to know how to do it. I assign my task cards as a whole group. We will use task cards together. I will show them how I like them to show their work, write out the problem how to structure their paper if that's a thing and then that gets translated into the math stations rotation time so if i give them a set of task cards in a math station they'll already know what to do because they've already seen it if there are other activities that you like to use say if you like to use a you know digital gaming platform have them play it several times so they know exactly what to do so they won't need you so you won't be spending time answering questions on how to do something, how to use it, how to log in, you know, all of those things that take up significant amount of time, they'll already know how to do before getting into their math stations. If you would like to sign up for a free training where you will be able to earn one hour of professional development and um, learn so much more about math stations in this training, it is called easy and realistic middle school math stations. I dive so much deeper into how to make running stations easy, effective, and realistic for your classroom. It doesn't take a million years to set up. You will learn how to set things up and you'll be ready to go so that you won't make the same million mistakes that I did. If you were interested in signing up for this training, click the link right below this video and you can sign up today. Until next time, see you then. Bye.